What's up fam? So today's gonna be a chest workout. I'm gonna take you guys through it and somebody on my Instagram stories asked me, bro, what's a good workout I can do for chest? And I only have resistance bands and dumbbells. Well, I'll address that here. Sorry, I couldn't make a video the other day. I, I said I was gonna make it during my Instagram stories, but this time I'm just gonna make it on this YouTube video and hopefully you guys learn from it. Um, yeah, so let's take you guys to the chest workout. Let's just get started. Took my caffeine pill, I'm good to go. Let's go. This red line is the center of the barbell. Well, center of the Smith machine. So I cannot stand not being in the center, perfectly center. So Pat actually was the one who drew a line right there, just so everything is perfectly centered. And I think it's a really good idea. See? I'm done with my working set. That was a three by 12 incline bench press. And now I'm gonna do an exercise that you guys can use with resistance bands. You guys can use just one or use two. With my bands, I have a handle to it. So you're just gonna need two bands or one if you only have one and a plate, uh, preferably a heavy one or anything that you can tie the band to that touches the ground. So any heavy object, if there's a pole attached to the ground, just hook it around that. I'll show you guys how to do it. Second exercise is banded incline chest flies. Here we go. So you're just gonna take the band, flip it around, just like that, just like that. Put it through, and there you go. So that goes for one, you're gonna use two, or if you only have one, just do this. Here's the top angle so you guys can see how I set this up. If you guys only have a single band, just switch this to the other side. And there's two. So band, bench, band, bench, band, dog, smith, bench, band, yeah. <laughs> So here's the question I got last time I asked questions on Instagram. Bro, I only have dumbbells and some resistance bands. What exercise can I do to hit my chest? Easy. All you need is one resistance band and a sturdy object or a sturdy place to hang it on. All you have to do is take one band. You don't even need a handle for it. So just take your band, put it on top, Loop it through and pull. And that's it. That's all you really need to do. 
Anybody can do this, you just need one band. As you guys can see, I am just, so I'm pulling it like that. See so you watch. One, two, three. So what I'm doing is, the reason why my arm is straight is because I am, it's like doing a chest fly, except you're on your hands and knees and you're bringing it right under just like that. It's pretty easy, it's really simple to set up, it just takes a second, just wrap the ball around the thing, but look, see? The other question was, what if it's not just resistance bands? What if I only have dumbbells? Well, if you don't have a bench, you can't do floor presses because that's for your triceps. Look, the range of motion, it stops right here. So you need to give yourself something that'll give your back an arch, even just a slight arch, because by arching your back, you give yourself a longer range of motion. You can use a booty sponge. I mean, it'll give you a tiny bit of arch. See? tiny bit or you can also use this the cheesecake box will do too so put it right in the middle just like that and then you're gonna get yourself a nice arch <laughs> yeah that didn't really work out shout out to retro sweets hmm it's good no, but seriously, whatever you guys can do to give yourself more of an arch, whether it be a towel, booty sponge, or a towel wrapped around a booty sponge, or a towel wrapped around a booty sponge, or on the cheesecake box, whatever gives you that arch, go for it. As long as it's sturdy, as long as it doesn't really move, you're good to go. This is Pat sponge, by the way. This is the pink booty sponge. It also comes in black, and we have a power pad that comes in blue. So we're going to put this down right here, and it's going to be on your mid to lower back just to give you enough arch. There. So that should give you more wrong. So imagine if it's bigger, if it's a bigger rolled up thing, you're gonna have more of an arch. So there you can do dumbbell presses and you'll feel more of a stretch. So there you have it. So that's it guys, that was the workout. I'll spare you guys the endless training clips because you guys see that enough on my Instagram anyway, so no need for that. Now I'm gonna get some food, shower up. No, before I get some food, I'm gonna make a protein shake. I mean, sorry, not a protein shake, a mass gainer shake. Right before I eat, just to get that extra calories in. Always gotta smell your containers first because leftover whey in a shaker, if you guys know. It's around half. Some jolly hot dog meal, regular fries, no, regular. No, no, no. Uh uh. Uh, it's a lang. So? It's a with fries and drink. Uh uh. A regular Coke. Regular fries, regular Coke. Yes. Tapos, see, Miss, uh, it's a pang jolly hot dog meal. Tapos yung fries extra large. Large. Tapos, um, yung jolly hot dog. Pwede no dressing, yung cheese lang. Cheese lang. Uh -oh. Walang ketchup. Walang ketchup. I'm a basic First take me so long. Diba? <laughs> they order a B. My name is a source niya. Ah, oh, sh**. Oi. They got my order wrong. Nako po! Wow. Are you serious? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, nahunog pa yung <laughs> Go phone. Oh my gosh. Order po nila mo. Isang jali. Okay. Got our stuff. <laughs>